everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel I know I it's been a while since I've done a video I've been working on some other stuff but I decided you know I missed doing the painting video so I'm gonna pop on and do a quick one for you today I am using red violet yellow ochre hunter green which is not one of my favorite greens but that's what I have available and wicker white. I am using an Imagic round brush, a number 16, and a Magic flat brush, and I believe that's a 12, and a Deerfoot Sippler, which is a number 10. Alright, so I've cleaned up the bottle, and somebody asked me in a question recently about using the green bottle. I'm just using it because I wash it off and do other videos with it. I don't sell it and I don't want to keep populating glass bottles that I'm not selling. So therefore I just wipe this off and redo. That's the reason. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stick the Deerfoot Slippler into the yellow ochre. Just quickly kind of pounds, just an irregular center. I do not want it to be completely round. I want it to be random looking. That is the intent. Although when I say that, then I start making round ones. But anyhow, my intent is just to have a very loose painting here and a very quick one. Yeah, that's very easy for anybody to do. All right, so then the next step, and I'm trying to figure out where to put my brush. The next step in this process is going to be to do the petals. So you can do this one one of two ways. You can stick the brush into the main color, tip it into the secondary color, and create your petals. I'm going to go ahead for the purpose of this video and just stick it into one color and I'm going to push down and pull towards the center push down and pull towards the center. Very easy. Again, my videos are meant to be easy so that anybody can do them. I want to encourage you to find something that hobby-wise you can relax and maybe even use it kind of as a form of meditation to help you in your daily lives. So again, just pushing down and pulling towards the center. I'm not caring how many petals I put. Don't really care. All right, tipping that into the white and just going to come through here just very quickly. Repeat. And basically when doing this, this is adding an extra layer of paint, which is a thicker layer. So what you're going to find is that your design is more durable because you have more paint on your design. But it doesn't have to be precise. Some can be lighter, some can be without any if you want to just go and, and touch them uh, every other petal or however you want to do it, that's up to you. Then I'm going to do the flat brush, and my granddaughter likes to use my area and uses sparkles, so if you see sparkles, that's why. I'm just going to go ahead and put my flat brush into the green, come over here, maybe tip a little bit of it into the white, and then come through here and create a stem where I'm putting all these together. I'm just going to wiggle it out the end here. Let me show you, because I don't think I have the whole thing on the screen here. So I just put the stem coming out here. It's not that long and it's not that wiggly like I normally would do. Again, just create it how you want it. That's the main thing. And I just basically put paint on and then tipped it into the white, kind of like what I did with the with the other petals. And can you even come out here a little bit from your flower? 
And I just noticed too with this, not all the petals are touching the center, that's fine. If you want them to, then make sure that yours touch the center. And again, I'm just going over this with some white. If you want to add some darker green back into it, you can. And then I'll just go through just very lightly and add little stems to each leaf. You could use a liner brush, but I'm just doing minimal today. I'm just keeping it simple without min with minimal products. And there you go. Very pretty. Didn't take very long to do. Minimal brushes, minimal paint, only four colors, three brushes. That's all you have. All right, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, comments, make sure you like this video before you move on and subscribe to my channel. And until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.